In Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, the Griffin is described as a ferocious avian carnivore with a muscular body of a lion and the head, front legs, and wings of an eagle. The Griffin is a large monstrosity with an AC of 12 and 59 hit points. They have a walking speed of 30 and a fly speed of 80 feet. They have a plus 4 to strength, a plus 2 to dexterity, a plus 3 to constitution, a negative 4 to intellect, a plus 1 to wisdom, and a negative 1 to charisma. They have a plus 5 to active perception checks and a passive perception of 15, which is pretty high considering that that they're only a CR2 creature. They have the trait Keen Sight, which gives them advantage on all sight-based perception checks. In combat, the Griffin makes a multi-attack consisting of a beak and a claw. Both have a plus 6 to hit and a range of 5 feet, with the beak dealing 1d8 plus 4, a damage potential of 5 to 12, and the claws dealing 2d6 plus 4, a damage potential of 6 to 16. As a DM, I would use Griffin similarly to other low CR winged creatures, with one notable exception. I would have Griffin scouting the area they live in at all times. With a plus 5 and advantage to perception checks, the griffin will be able to spot pretty much any enemy out in the field, making stealth very difficult. Once the griffins are confident that they know where players are located, I would have them use their 80-foot fly speed to swoop down, make a multi-attack, and then fly away, risking an opportunity attack. They have a very low intellect, leaving them little room for advanced strategy. And if your players are of lower level, these opportunity attacks might be the only chance some of them have to strike at these swift, deadly creatures. As a note, the griffin has a low comparative intellect, but it is considered a relatively intelligent beast, and is listed as a recommended option for the Find Greater Steed spell. However, as I've stated in previous videos, there are almost always better choices. The legend of the griffin comes to us from ancient Greek mythology, as well as other myths from Rome, the Middle East, and beyond. In Greece, it was a legendary creature described as having the body, back legs, and tail of a lion, with the head, front legs, and wings of an eagle. Similar creatures exist throughout myth, such as the Garuda from Hindu myth, a huge bird-like creature that served as a mount for Lord Vishnu, the Jewish Ziz, which was a winged hybrid creature similar to a cherub or a phoenix, and the Lamassu, an Assyrian deity with a lion or bull's body and the wings of an eagle that acted as a divine protector. In the Middle Ages, the lion was often seen as the king of beasts, and the eagle was often seen as the king of birds. So this ancient Greek creature was often used in a wide array of art, literature, and crests, and became the de facto Christian symbol of divine power and the guardian of divine rulers and royal bloodlines, owing also in part to the griffin's association with gold. Our good friend Pliny the Elder writes in his bestiary, Griffins were said to lay eggs in burrows on the ground and these nests contained golden nuggets, a passage that cemented the connection between griffins and gold. The prominence of the griffin throughout ancient Greece and ancient Asia resulted in a near limitless amount of stories, myths, and art pieces depicting them, and no one single myth can be pinpointed as the original story. However, modern scholars now believe that the origin might lay with the dinosaurs, as ancient cultures often found fossilized remains in seaside caves, and then created mythological creatures to match what they had found. In fact, the areas with the oldest depictions of griffins were rich in both gold deposits and protoceratops remains, which may have been used to create the initial imagery and association with gold that then morphed into divinity over the ages. In comparing the monster to the myth, we find that they're pretty much the same. The depiction of the griffin in mythology throughout the ages has remained relatively stable, with the D&D depiction being lifted directly from the most prominent in the Middle Ages. In both, the griffins are keen-eyed beasts who protect their nests with a ferocity befitting a fusion of the kings of land and sky. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and comment below, and consider subscribing to the channel. You can also join the Patreon for $1 a month, link in the description below, to access videos days before they're posted here, as well as other exclusive stuff like short stories, videos, and more. For all of my other content, you can find me on Twitch at Moglaroo, YouTube and TikTok at Moglaroo Streams, or my website, mwjgilmore.com.